And now let's talk about other dan called hiko no den. He comes from fire and ko from the verb kuru, which means to come. Usually it is uh, used for this verb to come, but it also has the meaning of to to become or to grow, to continue. So in this case, um, hiko no de is something as to become the fire or to, to, to make the fire grow. What we are going to do is, uh, in Kenjutsu, we are going to use this word as a mechanism, not not just for the for its um, obvious purpose. Now, for example, if he enters in ski, I'll get close to him, strike him, and from here, for example, get him uh, imprisoned or locked, so I could, could violate it to the ground. Other forms same nature. From this side, one more time, hitting, striking, I could lock this arm before taking to the ground. I could lock and he's here. He could enter and lock this arm. I could lock this arm, for example, and go to Sotit. Or From here as well, locking and locking, taking him down, also violently, including, for example, if he cuts, uh, so let's say, a kesagiri, for example, and uh, right here, here, I also have hiko kuku no den. If I continue, I also have hiko no den. During the Aijutsu, the same thing would, would happen. So, for example, I'm here and he cuts in my book and I get him here and it's also Shikonone. So these are all uh, different ideas for the same uh, then the same thought that is to use the sword during our movements as a mechanism for um, winning over him.